How's it going guys? This is not going to be a lengthy clip. This is more of just playing a vocabulary exercise. Okay, it's a bit of an activity in uh, unraveling a bit of fancy vocabulary here. Not my fucking opinion. Okay, this diagnosis, this image shows up on one of the new 2CK NBMEs. Maybe it's NBME 11 or 10, I'm not sure, but it's on the new NBME. And I was like, oh wow, that actually showed up. Okay, it's like an obscure diagnosis you may have read about like once, and then it actually shows up on the NBME assessment. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now let's start the clip. 32-year-old woman presents to the emergency department for a 12-hour history of blurred vision and change of appearance in her left eye. She's a kickboxer and had a tournament two days ago in which she took several hits to the face. She did not report any changes in the eye at that time. Her 25-year-old brother has ankylosing spinalitis. A photograph for eye is shown, okay? So let's just walk through the answer choices here. We'll go backwards. Vitreous hemorrhage, wrong fucking answer. The only thing you need to know for US simile about vitreous hemorrhage is that this is something that can occur in patients who have long-standing diabetes, okay? Uh, hypertension is also a risk factor, but just long-standing diabetes. And I articulate that because this will often be a distractor for questions where the answer is retinal detachment. So they might tell you a boxer was hit in the eye, and then they show you a fundoscopy that's got a nice uh, solid demarcation, like half the eye looks gray, half the eye looks normal. That's classic for retinal detachment, but they might have vitreous hemorrhage there, okay, where the image is slightly reddish in color, and you're like, oh, could that be hemorrhage? Wrong fucking answer, okay? This is going to be for uh, advanced diabetes, and the whole eye is going to look red if they were to show it to you. Now, this is where we get into the fancy slash uh, dumb vocabulary exercise, okay? Uh, pterygium versus pinguicula, okay? Both wrong fucking answers. Now, all you need to know all right, is that these are growths that can occur on the eye itself due to UV radiation, okay? So look at my cursor here in the image. If the growth only occurs on the white of the eye, on the conjunctiva, if, it only, if the growth is limited, a small nodule, okay, it can be yellow or reddish in color. If it's limited to the conjunctiva, we call that a pinguicula, okay, due to UV radiation. If the growth, look at my cursor again, it's on the white of the eye, if the growth were to extend over onto the cornea, which is the, the covering over the iris, okay? If our growth on the eye extends over onto the cornea, we now call that a pterygium, okay? Fancy vocabulary words. Uh, pterygium, I believe, is also known as like swimmer's, or not swimmer's eye, uh, surfer's eye, okay? Uh, especially strong UV light reflecting off the water. Uh, those are big risk factors for these conditions. Wrong fucking answers. The correct answer is hyphema. Okay, once again, not my opinion. This exact image shows up on, uh, or actually I Googled, Google imaged uh, a similar looking one, but the point is a very fucking similar image appears on either NBME 10 or 11, I believe it is, for 2CK, all right? And I said, okay, like hyphema, this is blood in the anterior chamber. Okay, it's usually due to trauma, can be due to cataract surgery. It can very rarely occur spontaneously. It, it looks very... Uh, sinister, okay? And there's, of course, varying severities. If it's massive, if there's blood, a uh, large accumulation, it can increase intraocular pressure, cause changes in vision. Uh, uh, but normally, it's just uh, benign, the same way that uh, subconjunctival hemorrhages due to trauma are often benign and just self-resolve, okay? So this will self-resolve over a few weeks, even though it looks really fucking sinister, okay? Hyphema. Should I say hemorrhagic anterior uveitis? Wrong fucking answer. I just made this up, okay? I mean, you do need to know that anterior uveitis is something that's seen in autoimmune disease, okay? The ankylosing spondylitis, uh, sarcoidosis, uh, Besset disease, okay? So any autoimmune disease really can increase the risk for anterior uveitis, okay? White cells in the anterior chamber. Hyphema is blood in the anterior chamber, okay? I probably should have mentioned that like two fucking seconds ago, right? That's blood between the iris and the cornea. That's where the blood is accumulating here, okay? That's your vocabulary exercise. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.